what is leadership, like mycelium as leadership. I think we hear often about um, mycelium connecting trees and how they get to kind of communicate with one another through this network and also share nutrients and resources and to be connectors to empower community uh, and recognizing that we're stronger together and when we share resources rather than hoard them. Um, I think that's a form of leadership that resonates with me. I think through my work in Solid Ground, everything was a bit foreign to me. So I was really in this learning phase, like soaking up phase of like, what is, what is food justice work? Like, what does it mean in the Seattle area? Um, what does it mean with um, the communities that we get to work with? And I just remember the people at Solid Ground, like everyone was so supportive. Everyone there was really rooted in their values. And I think I also got to witness my own power at Solid Ground. Like I was given a lot of trust, even, even though I was new to certain things. If I was passionate about something, folks at Solid Ground would create space for me to um, explore it and make it happen. Like Scott is my farm mentor to this day. Even after leaving Solid Ground through my work with Young Women Empowered, that I'm, I'm still there five years later. You know, I was like nervous, like how do I do this gardening thing? Like how do I make food grow? And he was encouraging uh, and was basically like, you just put the seed in the ground and then it grows. And I think that kind of confidence in me and also like the simplicity um, of growing food that has carried with me through my time gardening with young people still to this day that they get in their heads and I'm like, you just put the seed in the ground. The beauty of a seed is that it's all in the seed, you know? The full plant, it's like little bit of lunch that gets it um, far enough to put in roots and have its first leaves. It's all in this powerful package of the seed. And so really like every young person is that seed. Every human is that seed. A big lesson for me was, especially working with young people, really honoring that they have a lot of brilliance, knowledge, lived experience, and I think it was um, exciting for me to, to think about, like, actually we can talk about food justice um, and, you know, racial justice with elementary school students through the lens of food, through something that they care so much about and is part of their everyday experience. I've been with YWE for five years since I left Solid Ground and uh, it's been huge for me to see like leadership develop um, sp specifically in the young people that we get to work with and I think one thing I learned along the way is especially doing youth environmental work uh, there's a lot of pressure put on young people like you have to be the ones to save the day um, you inherited this this climate crisis and now you've got to be the answer. What's been sweet through our Why We Grow program um, at Mara Farm is that young people just get to come and like reset their nervous systems, like put their hands in the soil, like connect with plant allies, bug allies, like um, be held in the space and then that's enough. Like we tell them, you know, you showing up to participate and connect is is enough. It's kind of this like renewable source for them that as they are dealing with these heavy things of climate chaos, climate grief, um, you know, choosing to be leaders, that they also have this source of like joy that they can always come back to and connect to.